before missing about four weeks of action with an injury, Jalen Johnson was in the conversation for most improved player this year. And after returning to the lineup the day after Christmas, Johnson is picking up right where he left off. By putting up efficient scoring numbers, grabbing 10 plus rebounds a game, and giving the Hawks some much needed defensive versatility. Now offensively, Jalen is an athletic, high motor stretch four who's got some serious pop off the floor. Trey, no looks at Jalen Johnson. And those physical tools alone already make him a good fit alongside Trey Young. Because while Young may have his flaws as a player, he's still easily one of the best passers across the league. Plus, he's also a good enough shooter from range that he can pull defensive coverages out and give his teammates space to attack into. Right here, notice how OKC is going to send an extra defender at Trey, and he's just going to make a simple swing pass back up to Jalen, who now has all this open space to attack into. And when Johnson is able to pick up a head of steam like this, he's able to physically overwhelm shot blockers at the rim. You'll see the same effect on this play, where Trey and Jalen are playing this two-man game, and Young is able to pull Jalen's defender across to shut off this drive, but that in return gives Jalen a runway to explode into. And from here, Chet Holmgren can either get dunked on, or hack and put him on the free throw line. I also think Johnson is really good at reading space, and playing off the gravity of Trey Young. Notice here how Trey calls him up into his screen. But Johnson from here reads this defender running to blitz the ball. So Jalen is going to slip out into open space. And Young from this spot is a good enough passer to needle the ball through this tight gap. And because Trey pulled all of Washington's size out beyond the three, there's no one left on the back line to challenge Jalen at the rim. Now Johnson is much more than just your typical rim diving forward. Jalen this year has made a massive leap as a three-point shooter, and this is something I see him consistently building on throughout his career. Because mechanically, Jalen does have a solid looking shot. Having a good base, bringing the ball from his pocket to set point in one smooth motion, and having good timing from his lower body into his release. So as time goes on, I don't see any reason why Johnson can't consistently be a 40% three-point shooter. And Jalen's ability to simply knock down open jumpers adds another wrinkle to his two-man game with Trey. And I don't think Young has ever had a teammate who can both catch lobs above the rim, as well as pop out behind the line and knock down threes. And this leads us to what I think is the best part of Jalen's game, which is his ability to leverage the outside shooting and create downhill drives. Now off the dribble, Jalen doesn't have much depth, or creativity to his game, but he is really good at attacking into open space. You'll see Trey Young here working off the screen, with Johnson spotting up on the wing, and notice how deep Trey pulls this help defender in gap, which gives Johnson all this open space to attack into. And when he receives this pass, notice how Johnson already gets his feet active, which allows him to explode right on the catch, and be at the rim in one dribble. While attacking into space, Johnson also has pretty good balance and body control, being able to heavily commit to drives, but still have the stability to change direction if he gets cut off. I like this move here, where Jalen is going to catch and attack Josh Giddy closing out, and notice how Giddy does a pretty good job of walling off Jalen's initial drive, but from here Jalen's got the body control to Euro off his left foot, and create a finishing angle back towards the middle. And again, I don't think Jalen is great at creating offense from a standstill, but he is really difficult to deal with when he's able to pick up some momentum with the ball. You'll see the Hawks here playing in semi-transition, and watch how DeJounte Murray is going to simply pitch the ball back to Johnson, who's able to get a running start on the catch. And this obviously allows him to pick up ahead of steam into his attack, but it also gives him a massive advantage against the standstill defender who already has to open up his hips before Jalen even gets below the three. And once Johnson starts coming downhill like this, he's able to overwhelm defenders athletically. And that athleticism also carries over to Jalen's play in transition, where he can both be effective in fielding lanes, as well as leading the break as a ball handler. Johnson behind the back to the hole, and he jams it! Now as far as Jalen's weaknesses on offense, 
I think everything comes back to his ability to attack defenders from a standstill. Outside of hitting your basic left to right spin move, or an occasional euro step, Jalen doesn't have many counters or go to moves against set defenders. If Jalen's initial drive gets walled off, he commonly settles for these difficult fadeaway jumpers, which he does have the ability to make in spots, but I'm willing to bet that these aren't the type of shots that Atlanta is looking for. I also think Jalen has a hard time finishing in traffic and against length. If Johnson doesn't have a lot of space to build up those explosions towards the rim, he does struggle finishing in a crowded paint. Right here you'll see Trey Young pull these two defenders up towards half court. So he makes this routine pass back down to Johnson. But as soon as he catches, notice how the defense is already in his airspace. And this prevents him from building up that momentum towards the basket. And Johnson from this spot doesn't have the skill and footwork to create a finishing angle. But overall, when we look at Johnson as an offensive package, he's a really good piece to have alongside Trey Young. Being able to put constant pressure on the rim as a roller and slasher, while having the ability to extend out and pop threes. But there's another really underrated element in Johnson's game, and that's going to be his passing. Now Jalen is by no means a top tier Nikola Jokic type of playmaker, but he does consistently make the right reads with the ball and the Hawks are pretty comfortable running some actions through him. You'll see Atlanta here throw the ball down to Jalen in the mid post. Then they're going to have Murray work off these staggered screens. And Jalen's height from here allows him to see over the defense and dart this pass across for a catch and shoot three. And Jalen is also a pretty good decision maker when he catches in these short rolls, where he's both got the ability to sneak these crafty passes through to cutters as well as use his downhill scoring threat to pull bigs out of the deep paint, which then opens up these backside lobs. And Jalen also likes to use these lobs in transition, where again his scoring threat with the ball pulls defenders up towards him, which allows his teammates to cut behind to the basket with no resistance. So while Jalen for sure brings a ton of value and versatility to the Hawks offense, the same can also be said about Johnson's defensive play where his physical tools allow him to defend pretty much anyone 1 through 5. But I think Jalen does his best work when he's roaming off the ball, where his quickness and length allows him to rotate and completely blow up actions. You'll see the Hawks here initially get mixed up on this play, with two defenders briefly getting pulled towards the ball, which leaves this roller wide open diving towards the basket. But from the weak side, watch how Johnson is able to read the play unfold and he rotates from behind to make a play on the ball. Now we all know that Jalen's size and mobility is enough to already make him at least an above average defender. But on top of all that Johnson also has really good awareness. You'll see the Pistons here set these stagger screens for Cade Cunningham. And keep an eye on Johnson here defending the first screener. And notice how he has his eyes glued on the ball. And he reads Cade telegraphing this pass to the roller. And because Cunningham hasn't once looked behind him and threatened this kickout pass to the first screener, Jalen can comfortably rotate off his man and make another play on the ball. Now Johnson's size and length also makes him a really effective rim protector. And that mobility also allows him to quickly cover a ton of ground on these scrambles. You'll see Keegan Murray on this play attack towards the baseline. But from three passes away, watch how Johnson rotates down and completely takes away all scoring and passing options for Murray. So Jalen's combination of size, length, and mobility makes him a Swiss Army Knife defender for the Hawks. He's got the physical tools to effectively switch up and wall off the ball when it gets into the deep paint. And Johnson's also got the foot speed to contain some of the league's best backcourt scores. Right here, you'll see him defending Tyrese Maxey in transition. And just a side note, Maxey is easily in the conversation for one of the fastest players across the league. And he's nearly impossible to cover one-on-one -on -one in transition. But on this play, watch how Johnson is able to stay in front of the ball. And he's able to slide and push Maxey out into this difficult runner. But for good measure, Johnson's also going to erase this shot. And all this awareness and physical talent carries right over to Jalen's gap defense, where he's able to stunt down to disrupt the ball handler to then rotate out and alter the shot on the perimeter. 
Notice on this play how deep Jalen slides and gap. And from this spot, he's easily got the mobility to scramble back out and contest his shot. So Jalen Johnson right now is already an extremely effective two-way player. I think his ability to be both a pop and roll threat as a screener is enough by itself to already make him a great piece alongside Trey Young. And when playing on the perimeter, Johnson is comfortable putting the ball down to attack into open space. When you pair all those offensive skills, along with Jalen's versatility on defense, he's going to be a vital piece to the Hawks' success both this year as well as in many years to come. If you want to support this channel directly, feel free to join my Patreon where you can get access to all my exclusive breakdowns, as well as new videos that we'll be dropping every week. But regardless, I still appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one. The kids here.